In this video, we will see the advantage of using timestamps in Jenkins jobs. Everybody uses Jenkins and each Jenkins job it has its own console in which uh, you can see the statements has been uh, displayed. Okay, and here if you see, if you see the full log, uh, uh, these are the messages that we got in this console and it does not showing us when these particular statements has been executed so if you use timestamps op option then we will get to know at what time this particular statement has been executed so this will be very useful in the uh, jobs where it runs more than like uh, some jobs runs on one minute and some jobs runs one hour two hours ten hours so using this timestamps concept is it gives us more advantage so go to your uh, build environment section here there is a section called add timestamps to the console output if you enable that and if you see in the console uh, it will display the timestamp at what time it has been executing so it runs on one hour if it is struck somewhere or it takes some time to execute for a particular stage uh, all the information you can fetch from these timestamps okay so everybody knows jenkins jobs has like freestyle jobs which i have shown just now and then uh, the jenkins file option okay so in the jenkins files option or pipeline jobs you can say you can where you can run your test cases from a Jenkins file it displays like this only like whatever you showed previously without the logs it will show so right now what I'm going to show you is okay how to add timestamps so if when you click on the replay you are going to get uh, the files in the Jenkins file you can go to after tools options and inside the options you can add timestamps with this code just copy and run so that it is that is the replay option is can be used for testing see now uh, you have timestamps that you have is adding okay so if you want to make this change persisted and this Jenkins file is triggering from uh, your so this is the repository that we have okay and this is the file that it has been triggering so I'll make that change in the Jenkins file okay so you can edit here so you can do it from the uh, your uh, clone it and then I edit also but I'm just showing it for simplicity purpose simplicity purpose okay control C and V and then save commit changes adding Stamps commit change. So previous replay option is just for testing. Now once it is committed, if you run one more time, it fetches the latest code uh, which has been committed now, and then it will execute. Okay, you can check uh, the commit message. You can see right, adding timestamps. So that's what committed, and then it starts 